machine centered versus human centered systems what is a system being built around now when a new system is being developed there needs to be a determination of which component of the system will be the focus of its operation that being between the system itself or the participant or user who interacts with it so we're going to take a look at it now and on the left side of my screen we're going to talk about human centered systems and here's my little human here and on the right side of my screen we're going to talk about machine centered systems and here's my machine over here so firstly we look at under the heading of efficiency so with a human centered system it's developed around the efficiency of the user or the participant in mind allowing the individuals to be able to complete their tasks though potentially at the cost of processing speed so it's about the actual human being able to do their tasks comfortably understand what's going on it's very clear there's things available to allow them to do their work more effectively okay so that they are at the center of the design of the new system developing on the machine side development is focused on the systems processing at the forefront this may mean that users or participants need to understand complex instructions or use code in order to prioritize processing speed it's all about the system thus the humans serve the system and they are basically putting things into the system whether it be tedious whether it be hard but so that the system can process as efficiently as possible the next point we'll look at them under is user friendliness and obviously on the human side these systems need to be user friendly and provide an engaging user experience that satisfy the user's needs okay things should be easy to find in the system there should be menus and tools that are easily accessible okay and if they can't find things there should be some sort of search or help to allow them then to find those tools that will help them do their task but on the machine centered side okay the focus is placed on the six systems execution of processes thus users need to meet the needs of the system in order to ensure that whatever data goes into the system they've got to pre-plan it they've got to make sure that the data is ready for the system to handle so not as many tools not as many interfaces that are catered to the user it's really about that user getting the data into the system so that it satisfies the need of the actual system thirdly we'll take a look at it from development factors so on the human centered side project teams need to ensure that development is catered towards the individual so thus they need to interview the individuals they need to talk to the individuals ask them about a potential existing system and say well what did they like about that system how can we improve upon this newly developed system so that the system is catered to their needs and then once they know that they have to make sure that the, these users and participants are trained in the new system so that they can use it they understand it fully and they get the best possible experience out of that new system that's been developed specifically for them on the machine centered side development is in the context of the system achieves the purpose of its processing at the first thing and foremost okay so individuals who interact with the system they may need to be highly skilled and meet the demands of the system and they need to be trained for that or these systems can also be fully automated and really the people involved with the system are more around the maintenance side and making sure the system stays working so we need to factor that into our development that not many humans may be interacting with the system or there is a means for individuals to interact with the system and understand what type of data they need to put in for the system to accept it and meet the system's demands finally we'll look at this under implications on the human centered side the system must be user friendly because users are who it's being built around they need to allow for individuals to have the tools the interfaces that will assist them to achieve their tasks the turnaround and processing may take a bit longer with these systems but the user is satisfied with the system and they understand it and they get a good user experience out of it on the machine side users need to be highly skilled in order to or complete tedious tasks the changing nature of work will be an impact on this especially if you're changing from a human centered system to a machine centered system potentially people could lose their jobs in that scenario or they need to be retrained in some sort of way so that they can interact with a more machine centered system so that is an implication related to the changing nature of work but the big plus is if we are going more machine centered the system processing will be more efficient and that's kind of what's at the center of machine centered systems so i hope this video has given you an understanding of both human centered systems and machine centered systems essentially human centered systems are all about the individuals that will be interacting with the system big focus on user friendliness and ensuring that the individual has an understanding of the system works and gets a good user experience out of it machine centered systems we're focusing on the computing technology the machine itself that will be completing the processing of the system processing is at the forefront it's all about processing information 
highly valuable information and counting on the system to do it efficiently and humans will support the system in whatever way they need to in order to ensure information is processed correctly.